Minecraft Realms. You might have heard about it before, or maybe you've seen it in the Minecraft main menu. But what is it actually about? And is it worth it? Well, after this video, you will know, because I purchased a Minecraft Realm so you don't have to. Thank me later. So basically, Minecraft Realms is Mojang's hosting company. You need to pay a fixed price of $8 per month. And for that, you will get a completely vanilla Minecraft server that supports 11 players. So you and 10 friends. It will always be online and it has world backups. Also, this part is a little bit misleading. It says cross-device play. So that sounds like it supports cross-play like Geyser MC. But no, no, it doesn't. Cross-play with Minecraft Java Edition. Basically, the meme by that that if you're playing minecraft java on windows you can play together with people that have minecraft java on mac that is what they mean with crossplay here very crossplay mojang but all of this stuff you will get for eight dollars per month depending on who you are this might sound like a very good or a very bad deal so people who are into minecraft server development plugins and mods i think they would laugh at an offer like this well actually i'm quite sure they do eight dollars for a minecraft server that only 10 players can join and automatic world backups pretty much every single hosting company has that and cross play with java edition that's not even a feature if you host a minecraft server you can have real cross play between java and bedrock together on one server that is real cross play and this this is not <laughs> playing the game together with other people who also own that same game that's not cross play that's just multiplayer i've been playing minecraft for around 10 years now and i've never known anyone who owns a minecraft realm so either it is really bad and completely not worth it compared to a regular minecraft server or it is absolutely amazing and people have just not discovered it yet so i purchased a realm to check it out. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Eight dollars per month. Well, try Java Realm. <laughs> I already regret it. We're back in Minecraft. Let's click on Minecraft Realms. Oh, there we got one. Click to start your new realm. There we go. We're gonna call it Kasai Soras Realm. Hi there. <laughs> Create. So we can select a few different options, which is just a new world. I can upload a world. That is interesting. I could choose a world template, adventures, experiences, inspiration. What do all of these mean? Oh, okay. So these are these are just maps, which is also totally possible with a regular Minecraft server. Adventures. So these will be adventure maps, I assume. Oh yeah, parkour egg. I've heard about that one before. Sapphire caves. Ruby. Caverns, <laughs> Axolotl, Adventures. So how can I upload a world to this? Upload world. Oh, you can select a single player world. All right. Well, I never played single player Minecraft, but if this is possible, I could just download any Minecraft map from the internet, drag it into my Minecraft saves folder so it will appear in single player, and then I could upload it. Well, that's promising. We for sure have to check that out. Okay, new world then. Super flat, large biomes. Okay, these are just the default options. Generate structures yes yeah, sure create realm uh, let's see what's gonna happen it is taking quite a while i think i've been sitting here for about two minutes at this point um not a lot is happening yet oh hey there we go hey there's a traffic light hello <laughs> so i can now just join i can also configure ah Ah, interesting you got multiple worlds so currently world one is selected but i can create two more worlds and i think that you can then just switch between them well let's join let's see what it's all about connecting to realm hey let's go we're inside of minecraft we're inside of a beautiful realm and it looks like it's it's just a minecraft server interesting stuff now i'm wondering what can I do here? How much freedom do I have in this realm? And what if it crashes? What happens then? Game mode creative. All right, that works. What happens when I just go and fly around in one? Oh, oh, you see that? It stuttered for a second. That is not a good sign. Huh, it is keeping up quite all right with my world generation needs. That means... We need to go faster. So let's get an elytra and let's get some rockets and let's fly. Let's see if we can piss off the world. <laughs> oh, it is. It is keeping up. Oh, it actually looks like it is keeping up. I have to say that is quite impressive. On the other hand, this server is running absolutely nothing. No plugins, no mods. Nope. It is keeping up. World generation. 
No problem at all. So how can I even add a player? Uh Oh, here, players. Well, that works. Invite player. Bread shop. That should do the trick. I guess operator normal user okay so that's just either op or not op now i imagine that this realm is just running on a server so what if it crashes is there a dashboard is there a console anything like that renewed automatically in one month and seven days oh no so after setting up the realm this is what it says on minecraft's website so we got kasai sora's realm java realm subscription realm settings or manage if i do manage will i get something like server files or a console let's check it out oh no absolutely not uh minecraft realm u plus 10 friends subscription 30 day trial oh i have a trial that's good okay maybe realm settings is the way to go so we got the name the description the status i'm able to invite new players i'm able to manage my players so i can remove bread shop from here if i want and then here we got all my different worlds so this is world one i guess and then we got two more slots and a minigame slot for some reason. Okay, it seems like there is nothing like a console or any way to manage this server at all. Even though it says manage there, you're managing nothing. The only thing you're managing is your subscription. Oh god, joining takes so long. It's been connecting for like 20 seconds now. Oh, there we go. All right, we're in. Well, obviously we need to try and crash the server and see what happens. I mean crash the realm <laughs> there's also no way to install something like world edit so this is all manual labor well let's see how this goes boom okay that was very disappointing uh <laughs> let's try this one uh, okay that does absolutely nothing not that impressive why can't i just install world edit i mean i think there's no way to play mod of minecraft on the realm is there pretty sure there's none this takes so long okay can i crash the server like this let's test that out Will anything crash? The server actually handled that way better than I imagined. Yeah. Oldest trick in the book. There we go. Set them all on fire. Something like this. Should do the trick. <laughs> I'm such a child. But uh, no, it handles it fine. No problem at all. You know? I'm actually surprised by that. I'm really, really curious. Can I get Terra Leaf working on a Minecraft realm? So I'm gonna download it. And then I think I'm gonna configure my realm. If I just click on new world, will I be able to add a data pack? No, clearly not. World templates? I mean, these might be data packs. I have no clue or they're just regular custom made packs but what i want to check out is this option upload worlds i can upload a single player world so what if i go back create a single player world and then add a data pack to the single player world so here we go terralif let's add it now let's create the world these settings are using experimental features that's fine hey so here we go looking very cool beautiful generation very nice experience way better than default minecraft but now the question is will this also work on a realm so let's save and exit then let's go to realms let's add a new world upload <laughs> there it is upload it okay come on give me terror live on the realm upload done okay okay cool let's see what will happen okay it's taking a really long time to connect which is a little bit concerning i've been freaking around with realms for like 10 minutes did i already break it ah ha, okay an error occurred please try again later so you're telling me I'm not even able to add a data pack. I mean, obviously, I can't add mods or plugins because we would need access to the server files for that. And we would need to be running paper or spigot and not just vanilla Minecraft. But that is why we got data packs. Data packs are there to add cool stuff to a vanilla Minecraft world or server. Are you telling me that I can't even add a generation data pack to Minecraft realms? Aha, okay. Sure. <laughs> it is clear we can't do a whole lot with this realm. But let me try to annoy Mojang for a little bit. So I have a Minecraft server called Soracraft. It is currently in its fourth season, but I also still have all the maps of all the previous seasons. So to take season three as an example, the overworld alone is almost 23 gigabytes. So let's try if we can upload a 23 gigabyte world to a realm. I'm very, very scared, but let's try it. Yes, I want to upload a world. This is the one, but let's see 
if we can upload it. Okay, preparing worlds. <laughs> Please just work. It has been preparing the world for about two minutes already. Something tells me that this is also not gonna work. I'm very happy I got a trial and I didn't actually pay for this. Okay, <laughs> just for context, I've been waiting for 12 minutes. This took 12 minutes for the realm to realize my world size was too big. Mojang, <laughs> Mojang, <laughs> listen, <laughs> five gigabytes for a Minecraft server is not a whole lot, okay? Every single time I've opened SoraCraft, even if we just had six players online, we would exceed the five gigabyte mark in a day. You're allowed to have 11 players online in total on a realm, me and 10 others. You would exceed the five gigabyte line, in hours. What do you expect? Is that a crazy low world border? This is just funny. This is humor. Oh, wait, it's here. I'm so confused. How How is it there? It said it wasn't able to load. Ah, uh, we... Where are we even? This is not Soracraft SMP Season 3. This is nothing. It is the middle of nowhere. It just completely not uploaded my map and just threw another map in there. Mojang, this is not what I wanted. So for the beautiful price of $8 or 7 euros every single month, you will get a Minecraft server that only 11 people can join. You can't install any plugins, any mods. You're not even able to use data packs, which should in theory work on vanilla Minecraft servers and worlds. And when you try to upload a map that's bigger than five gigabytes, it will just straight up not work. You know what would be a better deal than purchasing a Minecraft realm? Joining Hypixel. If you go on Hypixel and you get your little compass and then you go to Hypixel SMP, if you are a VIP plus rank, you will literally be able to create your own little SMP server, which 20 players can join and it will perform just fine. You're not able to add any mods, you're not able to add any plugins or any data packs, but you also can do all of that stuff in a Minecraft realm. And the thing about VIP plus is that it is a one-time purchase. It takes a little while, but look, there we are. Our own little SMP server on a Hypixel. So, Kassasura, what is your final verdict? Would you recommend Minecraft Realms? Absolutely not. I'm, I'm very sorry. I didn't think I was going to be this disappointed, but for $8 per month, you can get a really great Minecraft server with more RAM and more freedom at a Minecraft server hosting company. Or you just save up those $8 every single month, purchase VIP Plus on Hypixel, and then you also got an SMP. Look at this. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, do make sure to subscribe to the channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>